Hey what's up guys welcome to a brand new video. This topic will be very cool to talk about because it's about China's aviation industry and how it's expected to flourish and prosper even more in the coming years. Anyone who likes aviation should be happy for the aviation industry on the whole. Before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. China has over 400 airports. As of December 2017, there were 229 commercial airports in China. In the first half of 2018, the Civil Aviation Administration of China confirmed that 93 new general aviation airports were licensed. China has the fastest growing passenger air market of any country in the world. With the growing number of passengers, as expected, there will be an increase in airport size and even more airports being built. China had more than 549 million air passengers in 2017, a significant contribution to the world aviation industry, with 7.12 million tons of air cargo in 2017 as well. China has direct air routes with 45 countries with around 5,100 flights per week. Currently there are 9 state operated airlines in China, among them Air China, China Eastern Airlines, China Southern Airlines, and Hanan Airlines. They are the big four airlines in China. Air China has a fleet of 412 aircrafts with over 200 destinations and is in the Star Alliance. China Eastern Airlines has a fleet of 532 aircraft with 217 destinations and is in the Sky Team Alliance. China Southern Airlines has a fleet of 608 aircraft that fly to 208 destinations. They left the Sky Team Alliance on January 1, 2019. Hanan Airlines has a fleet of 241 aircraft and flies to 110 destinations. So far, these airlines are flying aircrafts mainly produced by Airbus and Boeing, but it won't be that way for long. The Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China Limited, or COMAC, is a Chinese state-owned aerospace manufacturer established on the 11th of May 2008 in Shanghai, China. They began development of aircraft with passenger capacities over 150 in an effort aimed at reducing China's dependency on Boeing and Airbus. There are four aircraft in production or development. Their narrow-body aircraft include the Comac ARJ-21-700, a twin-engine short-range aircraft which first flight was on the 28th of November 2008. It holds 70 to 105 passengers and it entered service on the 28th of June 2016 with Chengdu Airlines. The Comac C919, a twin-engine short to medium-range aircraft which first flight was on the 5th of May 2017. It can carry 150 to 190 passengers. It is expected to enter service in 2021 with one of China's big four, China Eastern Airlines. Their wide body aircraft include the Comac C929 or Crack C R A I C CR 929, a joint venture between Chinese Comac and Russian United Aircraft. Corporation. It is a twin engine long range aircraft with its first flight planned for 2023 and introduction planned for as early as 2025. It can carry between 250 to 290 passengers. The Comac 939. It is a proposed aircraft that has no dates planned for either its first flight or first delivery. It's a twin engine that supposedly would be able to carry up to 400 passengers. China is also home to the second busiest airport in the world by passenger traffic, Beijing Capital International Airport. For more information on that, you can watch my video called World's Busiest Airports. Boeing projected that China will buy 7,690 new planes worth US $1.2 trillion over the next two decades to keep pace with its booming consumer and business demand for air travel. The growth in China can be attributed 
to the country's growing middle class, which has more than tripled in the last 10 years and expected to double again in the next 10, said by a Boeing representative. With all of this said, leave your thoughts on anything said in this video. Do you think China's Comac aircraft will be a success? Do you think it will surpass Boeing and Airbus in China? Also, Beijing Capital International Airport came in second by only 6,400,000 passengers in 2018. How long do you think it'll take for it to overtake number one? I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.